guys, it's your girl Labria. So Serenity, I'm back with you with another prophetic word. In this prophetic word, we're going to be talking about the changes that are coming. Changes are coming, not only to the U.S., but all over the world. Persecution is getting ready to start knocking at our door, and I've prophesied this on my channel many times before, and I will link the videos, link the videos above for your reference. Okay, there will come a time where the U.S. is going to be invaded by other countries. We will be invaded by other countries, specifically China. Um, and some places in the Middle East um, near the Euphrates River. I had a dream about the River Euphrates and it represented the countries that are near the River Euphrates that are going to infiltrate the U.S. Okay, and it's going to sweep over us something very serious. Okay, the Lord has also prophesied to me about the flooding that's coming to the U.S. He prophesied to me about uh, Florida being um, extremely flooded and a lot of storms coming to Florida um, around this time before Miami even began to flood. He also spoke to me concerning New York and Louisiana. Louis Louisiana is going to be one of the places that flood very badly. Okay. The Lord also prophesied that Mexico will take a major blow in the times to come. There's going to be a lot of storms in Mexico as well. Um, it may be a specific time where it won't be safe to go there for vacation and you guys really need to be seeking the Lord about your travels. Okay, do not um, hear these things and be afraid. Do not hear these things and be afraid, okay? The Lord wants some of you to take cover. For those of you who are going to be in these areas, he says take cover. He says be above, not below. He said that the tornadoes and the storms that are coming are going to be so bad that the insurance companies will try their best not to cover the damage. They are not going to want to cover the damage. It's going to be too many out-of-pocket expenses. Okay. The Lord also said, have what you need. Always make sure that you have what you need. I know some people hear these prophetic words and they just get all in their feelings or they don't want to receive it. They want to rebuke it. But the Lord does not tell us these things so that we can be in fear or send his prophets to warn his people so that you guys can be afraid, but so that you can be prepared. Right. He make sure that you have what you need. Don't wait for them to give you a warning on the news about a storm that's coming. Make sure you have those bottled waters. Make sure you have flashlights and batteries. Make sure your tank is always filled up with gas. Make sure you have emergency cash on you. Make sure you have what you would need in the event a storm came. When the storm in Texas came, there was no warning. OK, they got no notification. The tornado just came. It just came. Be prepared always. Be prepared. The Lord said it's going to be a major shift in political power. It's going to be so swift. It's not the change that most Americans believe that we will see. But it is going to be a very swift change. It's going to be very quick. And this is the year for the presidential election. And this is a year where everybody needs to really be careful. The closer we get to the election, the more careful we need to be when we're out and about. Okay, there will be a lot of attacks on the U.S. There will be a lot of terrorist attempts, assassination attempts. The Lord also gave me a dream about these snail eggs. Um, I think I've seen them on TikTok before, the red apple snails that have been very invasive in the U.S. as of recently, and they lay eggs. And I had a dream that I was scraping them off the side of a wall, that I was scraping them off the side of a wall. And the Lord was telling me that every evil thing must go in order to survive. Okay, snail eggs are very invasive. They mess with the crops. They mess with the fish. You know, when people are trying to fish, either the snails are eating up all the fish or they're getting caught in the nets with the fish and interfering with their ability to catch food. Okay, they also mess with the crops, rice and, and things that grow in these dampy like places. And the Lord is letting me know that a lot of these plagues are coming just like those snails that are invading everything invading these crops invading these waters and making it hard for fishermen the lord is saying today it's going to be the same in america it's going to be the same in america every evil thing must go to survive if you know or you see something evil in your house or you see something happening that is not of god that is in close proximity to you the lord is saying deal with it now deal with it now don't wait for the eggs to hatch you see it when it's still very small, when you see it, when it's like preconceived, the Lord is saying, deal with it then. Not the time to be double-minded or be in sin. He said the plagues are coming to the sexually immoral. Plagues are coming to gluttonous people. Plagues are coming to infidels. Okay. Plagues are coming to murderers. Sin will be more costly and it is not worth your life. He said it will not be as safe as it was before and my people must live for me intentionally the lord also spoke to me concerning celestial the prophetess 
celestial. And I heard her name three times, celestial, celestial, celestial. And I heard persecution. There will be attempts to shut her up in the times to come. I heard something about a trial. And I heard she will be tried. Okay? I heard persecution is coming to her in attempts to make her be quiet. The Lord also showed me a vision of a womb, like a woman's womb. And I saw patches like sores inside her womb. Okay, the flesh was rotting and I saw worms on the inside, like actual worms, like maggots. And I saw bleeding and I could smell an odor that was so profuse on the inside. The smell was so bad, like rotting flesh. It was so bad. And the Lord is saying that this is going to be for the sexually immoral people. The people who are out here just casually laying down with anybody, whether you're using protection or not, there will be plagues. There will be plagues. This is not the time for you trying to be sexually free, sexually liberated, because these plagues will come to those who are sexually immoral. You will find yourself having patches and sores on the inside and doctors will be confused. Worms and maggots inside of your private parts. Sin will be more costly in the times to come. We're not living in the times where our parents were or when we were kids, it's not like that anymore. The enemy is trying to take people out like a sniper. And that one sin that you may be trying to turn back to will cost you your life. So for example, you have struggled with gluttony and overeating and binge eating on hamburgers and cheeseburgers and now you have heart problems and you've been keeping it at bay and then one day you decide I'm going to go get me two hamburgers and the Lord is saying that those two hamburgers will be the very thing that take you out those will be the very things that take you out if you have recovered from alcoholism and the Lord has delivered you from that and the Lord is saying today that that one day you decide to go get drunk that one day you decide to relapse could be the last day that you see earth. One day you decide to relapse and go buy those drugs that he delivered you from will be the day something irreversible happens to you. That is the times, these are the times we're living in. These are the times that we're living in. So if the Lord has told you to quit something, you need to heed that. If the Lord has told you to get your diet in order, you need to heed that. If he has told you to stop doing something, heed it. Because if you continuously do those things he warned you not to do, it may cost you your life or put a plague upon your flesh. He prophesied to me that there will be many assassination attempts for Donald Trump and terrorist attacks. There's going to be a lot of assassination attempts. It be in your Bibles more than ever. He said, be in your Bibles more than ever before, morning, noon, and night. The Lord said, as the Israelites prepare to go from the land of Egypt, so shall it be this day. The Lord said, I warned them of plagues. I warned them of death before it came. I gave them instruction and they heeded and they were spared. The Lord said, how gracious am I that I consider thee in my judgments. I heard make way, make way. He said, take up provision for yourselves, prepare to relocate and prepare for the knock. Some of you, the Lord is telling you to relocate. He's saying it's time for you to go. And he's saying, take up provisions for yourself. Okay. Just as the Israelites painted the blood of the lamb on their doors, so you shall apply the blood of Jesus on your homes that the plagues will pass over you. Rid your home of every wicked thing. Anything that is not of God that does not belong, the Lord is saying, get rid of it. Get rid of it. You cannot afford to have it in your house. Get rid of it. If he has been placing it in your heart to get rid of something, get rid of it. The Lord does not send out these messages to cause people to be in fear, but for them to be prepared. For them to be prepared. Saying, Make sure you anoint your homes and apply the blood of Jesus over your home so the plagues will pass over you. Because judgment is coming. It's not something that 
can be rebuked. I know I share these messages sometimes on TikTok and people are like, uh-uh, I rebuke that. I rebuke that. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And I'm, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. You cannot rebuke God's judgment. You cannot. What you can do is prepare. What you can do is make sure that you're good with God. So many people want to cling to this, like, comfortability, this normal. They want to keep things how they are. Things have already changed so much. And they're just like, oh, I just want to keep it like how it is. Nothing is going to be as it is right now in the times to come. And the sooner people release that, the better. They're trying to hold on to the reality. They're trying to hold on to the, the little peace that they do have. When peace is not in the times to come, war is in the times to come. And so many people want to just enjoy life. They want to ignore the things that are happening in this world. They want to ignore when God sends his prophets to speak. They want to ignore when people tell them, hey, prepare for the floods. Hey, prepare for these attacks. And they say, oh, they don't know what they're talking about. And then the floods come. And then the destruction comes. And they're not prepared. As for the wombs and the ringworms, I remember I my very first prophetic word that I ever posted to YouTube. I'm also going to link it here. The Lord spoke to me about sending judgment on a certain group of women that's sexually immoral. And he said they would birth corpses. He said they would birth corpses. He was going to make it so that they couldn't even carry children. We're going to see a major decrease in pregnancies because of this plague, because of what he's getting ready to do. People will not be able to have children. There's a lot of people who put a plague on themselves when they took the COVID-19 vaccine. And they began to have miscarriages and they stopped ovulating and they started having all these issues within their body when it came time for them to reproduce. The Lord is saying it's going to be extremely difficult to have children. And he said the women, the sexually immoral, will cry out to him. And he said he will not listen. He will turn away. If you guys haven't seen that prophetic word, it was like almost three years ago now. Go back and watch it. Eggs that are coming and we must be prepared. And you guys must be protective of your bodies. Young women, you must be protective of your womb. You must be protected. You can't just let any man be in you. Fellas, you can't just let any woman be on top of you. Putting a mouth on you. You can't just allow the enemy to have his way with you because your hormones, you can't control them. Not having self-control will cost you. It will cost you. The enemy is trying to take people out by any means necessary. This is not the time to be double-minded. This is not the time to be dabbling in sin. Going to church on Sunday and doing good for a couple weeks and then you relapse. This is not the time for it. You need to be treating your sins and your shortcomings like life or death. You don't want your last day to be a day that you were in sin. We are not promised tomorrow. And in the times to come, we will see a lot of things, a lot of things. Instead of being afraid, seek the Lord about what he wants from you in this hour. For the Lord did not give us a spirit of fear, but peace and a sound mind. And so when you hear these things, you immediately tremble and you become afraid and you have no peace. There is something in you that is unrepentant. There is something in you that is not right with God. There is something in you that hasn't been understanding the word you've been reading. There is something in you that needs to be corrected. The Lord will protect his people. He will speak to his people. He will guide his people. There's no need to be afraid. But know that persecution is coming. Plagues are coming. A lot of death is coming. 
And we need to be in our Bibles more than ever. We need to be connected to the body of Christ more than ever. We need to be lifting each other up more than ever. Attacks are going to be coming more than ever. How gracious is God for giving us a heads up? How gracious is God for letting us know these things? Imagine if he left us in the dark. Imagine if he told us nothing. Where would we be? Imagine if he didn't ever tell us when attacks were coming. Imagine when he didn't tell us that things are going to get bad. How unprepared we would be. Take care of your vessels. Respect your vessels. Do not allow people from your past to come back and tempt you. Get your affairs in order. Know that in the times to come, people will be looking for peace, but they won't find it. If you don't have God, you won't know it. If you don't know Jesus, you won't know peace in these times. Always make sure that you have what you need. And protect yourselves, you guys. Be in prayer. Be in your Bible. Be connected to believers. Forgive. Forgive. Because life is short. I heard the Lord say that times are going to be hard. Spend money wisely. Times will be hard and to spend money wisely. Pack your pantries. Have what you need. Don't wait for things to go bad. Don't wait for things to go wrong, to want to stop, to want to have things. And some people don't like to hoard and you don't have to hoard. You don't have to hoard at all. You just need to have just the right amount of things that you need so that you won't be rushing to the stores when things go bad or you, you need to have, just have an emergency stash of something. I always keep water in my car. I always keep blankets and batteries. I always keep like the rechargeable battery jumper cables, the tire, um, air tire thingy. So I don't have to stop anywhere. Emergency kits in the car, those things are important have those things I say on my channel all the time when I when I talk about these things that um you should just have those things it shouldn't even be like oh my goodness this is getting ready to happen so I need it it should just be something that you always consider you know oh what if this happens on the road and I need this you know those are always things that you should have in the back of your mind politics will be very different in the times to come you guys need to be in prayer you need to be praying over your families something serious because in the times to come, things will be very, very different. There's going to be a war on women. A war on women and their reproductive organs. Because in the times to come, a lot of people won't be able to have children because of these plagues. And because of the judgment the Lord is going to execute on the sexually immoral. And people will get very desperate. They will get very desperate stealing uteruses from healthy women. Doctors saying people need, um, I don't know what those procedures are called when they remove uteruses, saying that they need them when they don't in order to just have, have a good uterus. Stealing eggs, even though these things are already happening, but it will increase at a very alarming rate. Some people will resort to even just taking children, kidnapping children. Be protective, okay? My name is Abrea Serenity, and if you haven't already, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss any more uploads from me. I love you all with the love of the Lord, and I'll see you guys next time.